Hi guys, welcome to this session on LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how to create three different types of charts. The first one is going to be a column chart, then a line chart, and then a pie chart. So first of all, a column chart. So what I'm going to do is going to highlight the data that I want to appear in the chart. So I'm starting this yellow cell, which is blank. That's so I can pick up the labels. And then I'm just going to highlight the data I want, in this case, just the blue area. And then I go to the Insert tab and click on the Chart option. Now, it usually defaults to a column chart, which it has done there. Now, what you've got is chart type, column. You've got stacked column and percent stacked column. I don't want that. I just want this one. And then you've got the 3D option if you want. I don't want a 3D option, even though it looks quite good. I will have a 3D option, actually it does look quite good then you can select the data area so at the moment if I just move this out of the way data data range so you've got first row as labels first row as labels or first column as labels so let's see what happens here so now yeah I've got I'll have them both off both on so you know, you're just getting the different labels coming up there if you don't have these ticked on. So data series gives you the option there to have the data series. You can click on whichever one you want or change it. And then chart elements, chart title. So we'll just call this um, Waterloo Casualties. Casualties. And then it comes at the top there. And then you click on finish. And then to move this, let me click away from that. If you can move this by clicking onto it and picking it up, moving it to where you want it to be. And then use these little boxes on the edge to just make that a little wider. Now to format this, if I double click on this chart, so I'm going to double click in this area here. What happens when you do that is you get this toolbar that comes up here, which has got chart area selected because that's where I double clicked. And then you've got some um, format options just here where you can select um, different things like transparency, area and borders. So I'm going to go area. And if I just move this across so you can see this a little bit. If I click on the blue and then OK to that, you see the whole thing's gone blue. If I go back into this, You've got, um, that was colour, you've got gradients, so you can have different gradients. That looks quite cool. Let's go for that one. So it's darker at the edge. And then these are just different format options. Uh, Bitmap allows you to put a photograph in as a background, but you need to add it. So I'm going to add an image. I've got some photographs from Battle of Waterloo. I'll use that one. OK. And then it comes in tiled, I don't want it tiled, I want it stretched and I also want it to fade out a bit and the reason for that is um, if you have it too um, proud, if I go down to 40% actually, if you have it too proud it just takes over the whole chart whereas at the moment that's just nicely faded into the background now, if you want to add the um, data labels on the, say I want to add the data labels, insert data labels, and then you get them on the on the green because that's what I selected. That's just the casualty. And if I take those off, if I, I'll just get rid of those. Now to do a line chart, if I click on the line chart one. So we're gonna we're gonna highlight the data that we want. We go back up to insert, click on the chart option, we pick line as the option we want, and this is the one I want there. So then you go on data range, series in, see it's not looking, I don't want it like that. So if I tick this option, then I get the line how I want it to be, with the months across the bottom, and then you can just go through this and change any elements that you want, title, and this one's going to be annual expenditure. And then finish. And then 
just move this across and then extend it like so. So that's a line graph. Now all these graphs are just basically looking at these figures. So if you change the figures, the graph changes to reflect that. Now then, last one is a pie chart. Now I want to do two different pie charts. Well, one for the male and one for the female. So I need to highlight the data for the male. That's fairly straightforward. Insert pie chart first and then select the pie option. And I want a 3D pie. But I don't want it all pulled out, exploded as it's called. So the range, that's what I want. Okay, so that's how I want it. So this is what you do, unless you just select the things you want and wait for the preview to pick it up, then everything else can be changed if you want to. I don't want to change any of that just yet. Title is just going to be men on this one. And then finish. And then you can insert data labels. And we get the actual figure on there. And then... If I'm going to format data labels, we can go into data labels and do a percentage on it and show category. And then we don't need the number as well. So I'll just see what that looks like. Click OK to that. So we've got the year and the percentage. Now we don't need that because that's a duplicate. So we've just got it how we want it. And then we can just move this down and resize this if we want. If you want to pull out one of these segments to expand it, you can click on it. So you click on these. Slide it out, not too far, like so. And then just click away, and then that's done. Now to get the females, you need to do the same sort of thing, except you need to miss out the men, obviously. And to do that, you need to hold your control key down and then just click on female. And then you're doing the same process. So chart, select pie, select a 3D look, select the data range, column is label. Let's have a quick look at that. Yeah, that's how I want it. And just go through, make sure it's what you want to look. And this one's going to have a title for women. And then we can just finish that. And then we do the same sort of thing that we did with the men. We change the labels okay so I double click on it right click insert data labels right click format data labels and I want percentage I don't want the value I want category okay to that then I can get rid of this and then what I need to do is pull out one of these sections this one will do just a little bit like so and then you can readjust this size, click away, readjust the size and move it to wherever you want it to go. And if you, do, if you double click on the edge, you can uh, still format this and put the pictures in um, that I did before. So bitmap, you know, I've go and add. It's not going to be really relevant to the pie chart, but you can add the picture or any picture you want. Don't want it tiled, don't want it stretched. Yeah, okay to that, and it sits in the background like so. So that's just a quick overview of how to create a column chart in LibreOffice Calc, a line chart, and a pie chart with missing out a column in the pie chart, and also pulling out a, a segment. So hopefully that was of use for you. Thank you for your time. I'll see you on the next one.